Man, I'm telling you. It's like April 2nd. And it's, man, still snowing out here, guys. I, I don't know about this, you know. Can't get into the mood of working outside or nothing. Just, man, I tell you, come on now. We need this weather to end. April 2nd, man. What's up? like my 70 Wildcat convertible and uh, I'm gonna go over like the wheel well bolts it's, it's a blue kind of red it's a different color chrome looking that I can dip uh, these bolts into after I get them re uh, you know chromated here it's from Caswell guys look it up but then I can blacken the bolts. So it don't seem to work that well with the black chromate that I use to dip the bolts in with the copycat, the Caswell seal. It seemed to work just fine. So I'm going to just run you through real quick, guys, on how I'm doing these nuts and bolts. And other little pieces, uh, I can do pretty nice sized pieces too because I did carburetors, uh, bodies, so that's a pretty, pretty big piece. So. You know, it's a few of the, like, uh, door, inside the door, you know, plates that run on. Uh, I'm going to be doing a few of the uh, little brackets that hold the brake line, you know, uh, in place on the front end of cars. I'll show you all of this here in a minute, guys. But what I do first is I sandblast them. And uh, I'm going to run through that on what grit sand, bla sand uh, blast and uh, sand that I use on material because if you use the rougher stuff, it gives it a rough texture. The part don't, or the bolt, a screw, whatever you're working with, don't look that good. So I'm going to get into the grit. Uh, that I use and you know it, it'll come out just fine guys so let me run you through on what I'm doing here look it up guys but it's a 170 grid and uh, like I say just google and see what brand you can find but it's a 170 to 325 um, and that's a good find grid here. I'll show you here in the sand blaster. So it's almost like a white powder there. And uh, it's just real, real fine. Uh, it's, it's really fine sand. And uh, it'll really sandblast the parts out for you guys to make sure you can get a nice good looking coating on your parts all right so then after the sandblasting guys i come here and uh i heat these parts up i brought these uh heaters but um also like in some of the like in my plating tanks and I got to make sure this is all kept always kept filled up to about the bottom of the bottom of the can of, you know the heater there but also for the tanks you know like my plating tanks I just use regular fish heater guys but for these this got to be up to 175 or better and then I got the little tool here that uh, 
I put on there and tell me that I'm heating up at 176, you know, so I got it marked on, on the heater where it is for me to get that up to that temperature. So got that there. So then after you heat, you know, you clean, this is a cleaner that comes with this Caswell kit. So uh, the, plating, the cleaning solution is in there every once in a while. I'll stir it back up to make sure, you know, everything's, you know, stir it up there every once in a while. But the cleaning solution is in there. I don't have this kit over two years. I never had, I just add water and so far it's been cleaning just fine. So after you dip in the cleaning solution for five minutes, guys, then you come over and you just rinse it off. And each one of these processes, you want to have your own separate cleaning, you know, and you use distilled water, not water out the tap. Maybe you can, I never tried that, but they say use a purified or distilled water. So I clean it five minutes, then I rinse over here, just dip the part in there and rinse. Then I come over here to my marotic acid, which you can get from most any hardware store. And you dip in here till you see all the bubbles, because when you dip off in here, when I put the next part in, I'll let you see the bubbles will be coming off. And you normally let that sit in there until the bubbles come off. Then you rinse here, on separate rinser for the neurotic acid, you know, and then this is the rinse. So after you rinse, after coming out the acid, then that's when you come over to here to where you plate that, okay? So then when you plate for about 20 minutes, 25 minutes to 20 minutes, according to how nice of a, uh, you know, the thickness of the plate and coverage that you want on there. Then I got my own separate rinse that I rinse uh, that out. I, I normally have this a little bit more organized, guys. But, and you see I got my fan going back there. Because I don't want to be up in here and, uh, you know, it's not bad chemicals, but it's enough that I want to just run my fan. So, after it comes out the plating, then I rinse here, and then at that time I come to my chromate. So I got yellow chromate here, which, you know, if you ever go and buy bolts, you see they have that gold looking um, coating on it, that's what this is, the yellow chromate, then the yellow chromate actually got its own rinse. All right, then this is the blue and red, and you ever seen the bolts to be kind of blue, red, and shiny, like a chrome looking? So that's what's in this one here. I call it the blue chromate, but I don't have it rolled on here, but I got them in blue buckets. I was able to find blue buckets. So they in blue buckets. And uh, this is the chromate, and that is the rinse back there. I'm not using that today. But when I redo the bolts for my showstopper, that's what I'm going to be using, guys. But today, what I'm using is the black chromate. So all of these parts, I, I want to be black. So if you look here, you know, that's just, uh, you know, front end uh, ball joint or tie rod. That's bigger, so that's a ball joint bolt. All right, so I'm on this brake brake uh, hose mount bracket. This brake hose bracket. I'm gonna run this through from start to finish. So, like I said, first off, I'm gonna come here, and I need that temperature to be about 175 or better. So we good there. We'll run this part through the cleaner for five minutes. Then we'll rinse it. All right, so after five minutes, I 
just want to pull this out. Rinse this like so. <clears throat> then I want to just dip it in my asset. Now let me come in here and show you this thing. I'm surprised it's not bubbling up real bad here. <clears throat> so, yeah, it's just starting. I was great. See, I'm surprised that's not bubbling up, but see if I can get in there. And, you see all the little bubbles coming up off it, guys? Some parts fizzle more than others, but it's treating that and getting, you know, it's just cleaning that and, you know, stripping that on down and putting a coat on there so that, uh, like a metal treatment where that uh, plate and a stick on there. So I let this sit in here till this is done bubbling. I'm hoping you, yeah, I can see the bubbles through the camera here. So you see those bubbles coming up, guys. So, I mean, this is about a $350 system, but I tell you, I don't spray, I don't pay so much money buying uh, <clears throat> can spray paints, the paint, paint bolts. This is a little bit more time consuming, but I believe this is a better protection. And yes, this says, you know, well, about 400 with all the buckets and everything that I brought. You know, the bucket's like $5 a piece. I know I got two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. 10, you know, less than 400 bucks, <clears throat> you know, with uh, buying the marotic acid and, you know, the uh, purified or distilled water. So, you know, it costs a little bit to set this whole system up, guys, but I've been getting my money's worth out of this system. And once it get warm enough, I can be plating bolts while I'm doing other things. Okay, so by this being a bigger part, I'm going to just put this part in here by itself. All right, so I'm going to cut my machine on. Okay, that's a, like one... So that's way too high. I can tell it's burning. It's burning. So I want to cut this down quite a bit there. Oh, but it, it was plating, but it's plating too, way too fast. So you don't want it plating too fast, guys, because... what what happened so now I got I got it down for this size part I got it down like on 60 volts so and that's plating just fine there yeah that's plating good there so I just wanted to plate this one piece by itself and as you see guys I don't know if you can see that but when I raise that part out of there right around the edge is sizzling and that's that's good so that plate is plating just just fine at 60 volts there and uh at about eight amps point zero zero point eight amps so that's that's fine there so now i'm gonna leave this for 20 minutes go in the house come back and i'm gonna show you how this part turns out here guys so every once in a while, guys, I want to come and, you know, move this around, turn it from side to side, just making sure I get a good coating on this here. So, All right, guys, so now that piece is coated good there, so I'm going to bring it over to the rinse, and then I'm going to put it into the box. 
So I'll rinse it there. Then I'm gonna come in here. Then that piece is coated, guys. It's coated. I run it around in here a little more. And then that's rust protection there, guys. That is rust protection. So that's 70 Wildcat. All of these convertible, all of these pieces is gonna be really done on this car. Cause I'm gonna be doing a full restoration on that 70 Wildcat. So, there you go guys. Beautiful part. Just let it lay, sit here now. And let it dry. And that's the complete Titan, Titan process, guys, from start to finish. All right, so there you go with the black chromate. 